everyone. I'm Jeleen Andrews. This is The Law Down, where personal injury attorney Brooke Goff shares advice on important legal topics. Hi, Brooke. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, so today we are talking about using social media appropriately when it comes to car accidents. We know that pictures can play an important role in a case, so you do want to take them, but explain why you might not want to then post them on Facebook or Instagram sure. with a, you know, a smiley. Uh, using social media uh, properly means not using it at all for your accident case, right? So yeah, pictures say a thousand words, they do. And it's not just about the accident, that's the problem. So let's say you get in an accident and you claim that you're in your, let's say we can't settle up pre-lit and you go into your deposition and you claim, look, I couldn't drive and you estimate, you say for about four or five months, but then there's a picture of you driving three months in because you posted on, on Facebook and you didn't have your profile on private. The insurance company is going to get that. Uh, they actually hire people that their main job is to just go in and dig up all the social media stuff they can find about you. And they utilize, they give that to the attorneys and they utilize that later on to basically contradict what you're saying. Okay. So I had that case where uh, the gentleman was off by maybe a month, a month and a half. And they kept asking the same question over and over in different ways. And I'm like, they got something. So I took a break and I pulled him out and I said, listen, like what, you know, obviously. And he's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We ended up finding out it was a month. No big deal right okay. like he was just off in his timing but it's a big deal when you say I couldn't do something and then you did it the right. other thing with social media you know you get the memories I love my memories because like I see my kids right yeah. um, that's a problem because if you repost the memories and it's not like it, it, somebody doesn't pick up on the old date then oh, it looks wow. like it's recent so if you said I haven't been able to ski since the accident it's you skiing like an Aspen right it's a problem so wow. social media just don't post anything about your accident at all but no most of the time like I mean, we're, we're attention-seeking humans, like, right? But, but to talk about something else, get attention for something else, you're going to really hurt your case and hurt the value of your case and put everything on private. It should be on private anyways. You don't want people to find you. Yeah. They don't know who you are. Absolutely. You, know? you don't need to put all that information Social out there, Social media right? is a weapon. It could be a good weapon or a bad one. If you utilize it to talk about your story with the accident, it will be a bad weapon, I can promise you. All right, Brooke, as always, thank, thank you. you so much for Thanks. that advice. And don't forget, you can always learn more at GoffLawGroup.net. For Connecticut's Morning Buzz, I'm Jillian Andrews.